There's always this stigma about real painters don't use tape. Um, seriously, for the probably the first 15 years, of, oh, 10 years of my painting, we didn't use tape at all because we're going back to you know early 2000s. Uh, but now in this day and age, uh, with everything advancing, spray guns, the equipment, the materials, especially the tape. You know, even the tape wasn't what it was 20 years ago. So for me, coming into a job now, particularly because I do spray, but even if I was brushing and rolling, like I'd always still, like why would you try to cut into a surface with a brush, a brush when you can go through, mask it up, you're pretty much doing two things at once. What are you doing? Is you're protecting the surface, your, your flooring, okay? And you're eliminating cutting in. So you can go twice as quick painting, as in you're protecting everything also, and you're gonna get a straighter, faster, cleaner finish and line, no matter how good you are. You cannot cut in straighter than the, the straight edge of a tape. It's, it's just a known fact, no one can. So yeah, it's one of them things for me. Yeah, you do spend a lot more time taping up and preparing, but you're doing it not only to cover everything up and to protect the clients, furnishings, whatever it is, fittings, but it's gonna save you so much more time in the long run. Plus you're gonna achieve a lot better finish. So yeah, it's one of them things for me where taping is definitely a necessity. I could quite easily come in Right, these are brand new floorboards, polished, just polished floorboards. So I could come in, right, I could cut this edge along here, whatever else, and then you got to still roll all your walls, you still got to roll your ceiling. So you're going to have your sheet up like this. So the starters, you're always going to have to pull back your sheet, right? And even when you're rolling a wall, you can never have it like it's impossible so you're going to have your sheet like this perfectly like this it's going to be going on to your pre-finished or your painted surface already but then you walk along you're dragging stuff you already got a gap like that as you're rolling and what's going to happen so many times i go into people's houses where they've had painters there over the years before i came along and you can see you know you've got 100 mil out 10 mil out the whole way around the perimeter where you've got little bits of overspray. So it's not only about being more efficient and faster and cleaner, it's about protection. And that's really what's important also. It's not just your finish, it's about protecting your clients. Um, yeah, furnishings, fittings, flooring, whatever it is. I don't want to get any paint anywhere other than where it's supposed to be. Ceilings, walls, trim. So yeah, that pretty much eliminates and any painter that doesn't get with the times or doesn't even want to acknowledge the reasons why we do tape. It's, it's, it's for me, it's not only being stubborn, yeah, and not only that, it's being ignorant. It's about always moving on to the next level, always moving forward. It's always about learning you know, you're not running a 1918 computer because it's slower. It doesn't do the things that the new age computers can do. It's exactly the same thing. No matter what it is in life, you've always got to evolve with the times and the products. And if you don't, you're going to get left behind. So that's the reason why I tape. And I would never go back to not taping anything. Like I said, even if I was just gonna go through and brush and roll everything, I would still do the exact same prep. Like I would, if I was not spraying this door, I would still tape around because what didn't, what happens? Yeah, you can cut around it perfectly, but when you go in to roll the door, what's happening here? You're gonna end up with, as you can see, you got bits of, of paint that's still left on here. So, for me, like, and, and, and look in your corners here. So we eliminate all this type of thing. We have nice, crisp, clean lines. And like I said, over and over again, 
we're protecting our clients' assets. We're not coming in to make a mess of anything. We're coming in to make it better. I like sometimes, dude. I like you get to the point where, you know, this is this would be a hundred year old, um, you know, a century year old house. So you know, a lot of the times people say, "Hey, take down your blinds." This is the point where it's going to break, even if I touch it. You know, so that means that why I'm liable for it, and um, yeah, that's another thing where it's just going to end up costing you money. So sometimes it is better than um, just to wrap it. Put it on more of the way up. And then because this one's back up front, you're gonna have to put it on this back edge. And then you And then we just go like that. And we'll get your other drink for that. And then watch we'll tape tape it up. What's that? But I don't think that's probably going to not going to want to go all the way up. But what I can do, I can just use my my hole. How long? How long? Work for me, baby. the right size and I like you know yep and that was it I mean I, I like it so a lot of the time you're not really wasting it you're just saving it for later it's about yeah not wasting so it's yeah. <laughs> can you edit that or no I like I just pull off that one <laughs> You gotta tape another power point. You're not gonna start here because then you have to worry about trying to get it undone and it's not gonna work. So what you always do, whip it up, start from the bottom, okay? Because it just makes sense. Keep it nice and tight. Well, no way. You should... Over, over years as well, you work out pretty much exactly what you need to tear off to the space that you need to tape up as well. Um, and another thing as well, when, I, when I'm always cutting, I can really make it pretty damn straight. See, I'm, like, look at that, there's no angle. So you just use your, th your, your finger, that's where it's straight, and you just tear it like that. It's, it's, it's pretty, it works. And, and look, every time I've done three, and every time I'm looking at probably a mil on each side. So over the years, yeah, you work out what you need to pull off. So you minimize your wastage also. Fam hand this, get it underneath there. And a lot of the time, turn off your cat, but a lot of the time you, you slide, and that gets you to where you need to go as well.
And what I'll do, I'll go around it like that, okay? And so you can still use your switch, and then I'll pop one more little bit around the switch, like that. So that way, plants can still turn off their lights on and off, and it's still protected. But now I'm looking, hey, I need a bit more, so I just rub, fight a little bit on me, just to fill in that little, little bit that sometimes you miss. No one's ever perfect. I'm not perfect, no one is. But you can always try to improvise. It's like a light switch. Sometimes, you know, you can do a hundred things, or you can do, you know, I've been painting now for 25 years, and there's still things that I'm loving each and every day, and it'll be just like, light switch, ding. And yeah, you just, it's, it's not about always looking for outside information it's about what works for you in what you're what you want to do so yeah sometimes you know you're, every day i'm improving and i'm always trying to find easier quicker more efficient ways to make my job easier and yeah forever learning is what's most important 100 percent evo type is actually good oh dude seriously i like and yeah this is me being really passionate about the Envo tape because, you know, as much as I can say, hey, yeah, the Envo tape's good, it is good. I use it for everything. Where before I used to have, you know, uh, the Blue Scotch uh, 3N for one thing, and then I'd have the Tenacious K180 for another thing. I find the iQuip Envo um, just, it's the only tape I need. If it's for brickwork, if it's for carpet, um, it's for outside exterior use, doesn't leave residue. It's, you know, and I'm saying that for my conditions as well, because a lot of the time, depending on where you are in the country, uh, depending on, yeah, the humidity levels or whatever else, you, it, every tape can leave residue. Um, it's just one of them things. But yeah, for me, I've never really had a problem or drama with any any um, residue left on or anything like that doesn't tear easy um, it's easy to control it's not high attack where it's going to tear off i get a lot of the time as well hey how can you paint something um and then you know an hour later you're taping up and then you can pull it off and it's not taking off the paint and you've just because it's just prep if you prep the surface properly, you, you, you put a nice key, you know, you get that right adhesion, you put the right products, primer in your top coats, you use the right tape, you're gonna eliminate all of these problems also. So that's always uh, definitely something that you know, helps out along the way. So now what I'll do, I'll get my tape machine, I'll end up just taping straight over this on the top, one on the bottom, and then I'll join it together. More and give you a bit of a rundown on that. Just pull it out from each, from the bottom. Like like that. You can then just fold it in. And you just go like that. So and these are the type of things to think of along the way because I wasn't going to do it like that. But when you come to it and you're like, hey, this, this is probably going to work out a lot easier. Yeah. Right, so then fold it in. And then just go to tack your sides down and then I've got it all.
it doesn't have to be so glamorous all the time. It's about covering up and that's what we've just done. So there we go. Hat rack, you know, but like, and, and you always do your long bits. You always do your long bits first. So I, I always sort of do like my long bits. So I just measure it out like that usually, right? So I've got like that much on each side, just enough so I can tag it. So just like that, just put it on. Top one. And see how I've got it on each side. So I'm like using where I've got my tags already. So I know, and I'm pushing it like, keeping it straight. So it's always good to have tension as well. Put it on. Like that. Like, look at that. Then you just go, boss. Boss. What the hell's boss? Yeah. So that's you know, how 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 that was like fucking like minute forty five. It comes down to the tear, right? I'll just show you. Like with the tear, it's like like it's it's what it chances like doing it all the time as well. And it's like it's one of those things where you put it in, but it's got to be fast. And it, and it's like a it's not like a like. It, it, you're tearing on a vertical angle like that, fast on an angle like that. So you turn it in, pull one corner, fast tear, and then you're not usually getting, usually getting a straight line. And like I was saying as well, now you can use that. Well, not even like if you need to fill in an area, it's already complete. You've got a perfect edge that you can just pop it straight into that corner. It's the easiest way, just put it, put it on. One on this side. Fill in the middles. And they can even just, like I grab, usually that. I'll do it. Grab it, oh. and then just run it around. grab your whatever's left over and then you can just do your door handle you know we can i believe the door handle tonight but I they're not going to come in but usually if i was if people were still in the house using these rooms i'd leave the door handles and then when we come in time to spray i'll just wrap up the door handle so that's nice straight easy way but yeah like you know like amount amount of messages i get from people from you know just me trying to help out along the way. And um, like I said, it's, it's, yeah, it's inspirational, but it's humbling, but it keeps on pushing me to do what I do each and every day. Just not only for the love of painting, but the, the love and the feeling of helping someone else out. And yeah, and if I can save someone time and money from my expense of the time and money that I've spent over the last 25 years learning um, and growing from my experience, it's it's that that's that's truly what it's about yelp if i can help one person you know if i put out this information and it reaches you know five thousand five hundred five people and at least one of them find it useful and it helps them i've done what I felt like I was supposed to do and that's you know providing information that can help someone else succeed in any other way that's what it's about like I said sharing the success and um, for me 
it's succeeding. So yeah, it's it's about not only giving good information, but it's about giving good positive vibes and vibrations. And guess what? I get it back in return. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's just a big circle of love, you know. At the end of the day, so um, yeah, like I said, if I can if I can help out anyone, yeah, it's it's yeah, that's what I'm here for, yeah. And I ain't always been like this, but yeah, it's it's good, it's good.